Hello and welcome to the Ananda Apothecary. My name is Eric Check. I'm the owner of the company. Uh, today we're talking about essential oil blending and particularly blending to the precise concentration that you're looking for. So in skincare blends, for example, you're, it's very important that you're looking for, if you're looking for a 3% concentration of your blend, uh, you've probably been using a number of drops per milliliter assuming that there are 20 drops per milliliter or 30 drops per milliliter of that essential oil and ending up resulting in your concentration that is completely incorrect it turns out that essential oil drops per milliliter vary widely we're looking at drops per milliliter between 30 and 60 so sometimes you could only get half the amount of essential oils in a blend that you're expecting uh, so at the Ananda Apothecary, we had been looking up, trying to find um, how many drops per milliliter are there of essential oils, and there was no figure on the internet. So we decided to test every one ourselves. So out of the 150 oils we had, we tested every one using both a plastic and a glass pipette, uh, and repeated the test three times, and came up with our first table, um, which showed that essential oils do vary widely in their number of drops per milliliter. Uh, we now have Dr. Tony Ferrari, our analytical chemist, who has come up with a relationship between the viscosity and density of an essential oil uh, that gives us an easier route to get you the correct number every time. So yeah, so what we did was we standardized the old methods of testing each oil. We did that 10 times per oil with um, a volumetric um, milliliter flask that was very precise. So that was how we got our first numbers. So with that set of data, we thought to relate it to what we're actually seeing, which is thicker oils give bigger drops. Thinner oils, less viscous oils give thinner drops. So at that point, you can start to see more volume will go in the thicker drops. And that is related to how viscous the oil is. And so we just related all of that data set to the viscosity, to the specific gravity. And now we can predict um, from batch to batch how something's drops per mil value will change from year to year, from oil to oil. So so uh, what kind of droppers were you using and what did you notice about the orifice reducers that one can shake per drop out yeah. of each bottle? So the orifice reducers are wildly inaccurate. It's going to be really hard. As you, as you know, it's a fixed, tiny little orifice, so different droppers don't, don't come out of it smoothly. So what you want is no interaction with the dropper and the oil. So glass is perfect, it's inert, and every single time you do, do a drop, you can see the shape is consistent. If you use plastic, you might get interactions with the plastic to some of the constituents. That'll warp your dropper, the, the drop size and how it looks, and you'll get wildly inconsistent numbers with that too. We tried to relate it to that, and hopefully we can give you some sort of con consistent numbers with that, but at this point, the dropper is the glass one ounce or two ounce dropper that we provide. So that's the dropper that you most likely are going to have. All of our one, uh, one ounce bottles and two ounce bottles come with both a regular screw cap and a dropper, dropper cap. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a glass dropper and that's what we've done all our tests with and that's pretty much industry standard. The same piece of glass will um, give you your drops so that you're making blends with. Uh, so we're going to give you a couple more videos. One actually with a demonstration of how to use these uh, numbers and um, how on our website uh, to use the information and so you can calculate so you can see the drops per milliliter of every essential oil all on one page. Um, so on every page, for example, uh, we're looking at German chamomile. If we go to the German chamomile page, you'll see right to the right, there's a number of drops per milliliter right under that. It says blending tips. This is going to explain everything as to how to get this your blend concentration exactly right. German chamomile is one of those oils that you should only have 1% concentration of uh, oil in the whole blend. And we're gonna tell you how to get that number precise. Um, yeah, and it's also just about the relationship with the other oil too. So if you're using lavender and German chamomile, these are not one-to-one -one drops per mil like before you would assume if they're all 30 that it's an equal concentration. But if you're using German cam and lavender, you're going to be getting about half of the concentration of your lavender per every regular concentration of German cam and you're just going to be drifting your blend towards a really heavy German chamomile blend when maybe you wanted more lavender in that blend. So, so stay tuned and we're going to tell you how to start blending correctly every time. Thanks for listening.